Now, what's your fondest memories of Mr. Hanman? Uh, Mr. Hanman? Yeah. Well, my fondest memories, I took classes with him 50 years ago. Yeah. Um, and I remember, and I was a very insecure young actor, very... Uh, really? Very, I know, very, yeah, I used to have a waste basket with sick before I go on and say very, yeah. and, you know, lacking confidence. And when I remember one day he said to me, I was watching, he said, do you want me to tell, because he knew my family, my mother and my stepfather, do you want me to tell your father, do you want me to tell your mother how good you are? Yeah. And it always struck with me, I was overwhelmed, I really appreciate it. This is such an important piece of history that is being yeah. documented for the American theatre, so I'm so excited to be here. He's changed so many people's lives with just listening to him and following his direction. The legacy that he's leaving behind is the quest for truth, and I think that's what all of us in the theatre are striving for, and uh, I think this is a man who is still teaching at 97 years old. So that's what I'm saying. I always say I want to do it till the end, and he's showing us how. There you go. Good records, diversity, inclusivity. Uh -huh. What do you think about that? It's diversity, inclusivity, it's breaking records. Yes, yeah, yeah. No, great. Unusual. You know, he was not like any other teacher of his time. Um, I mean, I was like 22, 23 years old when I started with him. That was, like he yesterday. was considered, he was my teacher, you know, so he's still in my life. We still talk to each other. Thank you guys for being here tonight. What's coming up next to you now, Michael? Uh, right, I just finished the second season of the Kaminsky Method. Yes. Um, and um, I'm getting ready to take a good holiday for the summer with my kids. Well done. Thank, Thank you. you very much.